Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an anti swear event or no cursing event, however you want to call it. And yeah, we can get started. So let me just delete this real quick. Okay, so firstly, we're going to create the command. Um, let me just call, let me just make a new folder. Anti curse. And then I'm going to add the file. Uh, empty curse. Uh, enable the JS. And also, empty curse. Disable the JS. Alright. So, we have two files now. And. Okay. The thing is, um, if you don't have a schema folder for Recon DB already, I've previously made a video on it. Okay, I'll link it down in the description. If you haven't set Recon DB up, make sure to set it up because we're going to use it in today's video. Okay, so let's start coding um, the command. First, we're going to make the on command. So, first, we're going to require database, the schema, so cons db equals require, and then you go to your schema file, uh, recon db. Alright, then we're gonna start module exports. Name will be um, anti swear on and run async client message args. Okay, after that, we're gonna check for permissions. So if message the member that has permission administrator return message the channel will send um you do not have admin permission and now we're gonna check permission for the bot so if message the guild the me that has permission um manage messages return message of channel of send um i need manage messages permission okay once that's done we're going to start saving the data so we're going to check where there's data first if await db.pass swear and then a dash and then you put in the ID here so message.guild.id so every guild has a different ID that's why it's gonna say different um, that's how it different differentiate it okay so we're gonna check if there's data is equals to okay we're gonna check if there's no data we're gonna save data so we're gonna put false there's no data and then um if there's no data we will save the data so await db.set and then swear message.guild.id and then comma and then you're gonna do true you can just set it true okay so after you set it true and then after the bracket this bracket also return message of channel of send um anti swear has already been turned on okay so this is for the enable and then now we can then go to disable we can just copy this it's somewhat similar but it's not 100 percent um change this off and then we're gonna change the false to true. All right, and in here, instead of setting the data, we're gonna delete the data. So delete right here, and then just remove the true. And it should look something like this. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do this. Uh, let me just do message to channel send send empty swear. It's now on 
and then in here after you delete the data we're gonna send the channel send and swear is now off all right so this should be the command let's try it out um i forgot to change this off all right so it should be good to go no dot um just run no dot and then let's just wait for the bot to come on Connected to MongoDB. Okay. Connected. YouTube Drawers has locked on. And then when I check, it is on. Okay, so let's run the first command, which is NT swear on. Just copy this. Or you can just type it. Y. This is my prefix. Y exclamation mark is my prefix. So you can just change it with your prefix. When anti swear is now on, means it saves the data. So let me just show you database really quickly. Refresh the page. Um, I save it to test, but normally you should find yours and data. I save to mine and test. So let's let load, click on, and then go to recon DBS. And then you should see swear, and then your guild ID is equal to true. So if I try to enable it again, it should send anti swear has already turned been turned on. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. And it has already been turned on. So basically now it's on. But I haven't created the event. That's why when I curse, it's not gonna delete my messages. So now we get, we're gonna test the disable command. Alright. So first we're gonna disable it. Why anti swear off? And then anti swear is now off. You can find that here. Anti swear is now off. You can change the text to embeds or anything. I've made a tutorial on that too. Um, and then if you refresh here, the data will be gone. And if I try to do it again, if I try to do it again with no data, anti swear has already been turned off, which is right here. So this is a working command. So now let's make the event for this okay let me just name this anti curse or js okay if you don't have an event handler i already made a video on this it's very easy to set up takes literally less than five minutes to set this up all right so we're gonna require the client first const client equals require and then go to your client file and then const words equals require. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna create a JSON file. So I'm just gonna create a main directory, curse.json. Okay, so this is JSON file. Require, and then you go to JSON file, curse. Uh, why did I not show you now? Um, curse the JSON all right so this is the um, curse words that is allowed words and then now we're gonna require the DB const DB equals require little slash recon DB all right so now let's try writing the message event client on message async message So normally we're gonna ignore the bot, um, the bot, what the bot um, gives the command or anything. We're gonna if message the auto the bot, we're gonna return that. But for this, we're not gonna return because we don't want any curse um to be in the server. So first we're gonna check if there's data. So if await db dot pass swear message.guild.id um, equals to false and then we're just going to stop we're just going to ignore it right so if there is data for let we're going to make a for loop um, let 
i equals to zero i is lower than lesser than words dot length words dot length and then uh i plus plus okay so now we're gonna uh, check whether the word in, um is includes the word how do I say this um we're gonna check for each of the each of the um words is inside the array we're gonna check per word I don't know how to say this but it should make sense um if message dot content dot includes includes um um and then bracket words and then index and then we're gonna make a bracket and then message dot delete and then after message delete we're gonna say message dot channel dot send that mess um, word is not allowed in the server and then dot then you can delete the message you don't need to delete if you don't want to and then I'm just gonna delete timeout will be three seconds so this is an MS you can convert it yourself with Google all right so now we're gonna specify the bad word so first bad word it's gonna be um Kirsten Jason okay so this need to be double um double quotes it must be in quotes and then the first word we're gonna make we're not gonna use any real bad words here but you can change the words to your bad words. So I'm just gonna put banana and then um let me just think um let me just do Roblox is a band word and also let me just do another one. Um cat. Let me just say cat is a band word. So you can make it like a thousand words by just doing this array method. Uh, Alright. So let me just test it out. Just run note dot and then the anti curse event should load up okay for now there's no data on this server that's why it's not going to respond when i say cat it's not going to delete my message so let me just turn it on really quickly why it is there on this server is now on and when i check the database it should save the database and now it's active so when I say cat that word is not allowed in this server so it instantly deletes the word and let me try saying banana that word is not allowed in this server and roblox and that's what is not allowed in the server so when I simply type and I type roblox it will still say the same thing that word is not allowed in this server and when I do y now let me just talk something random like hello and it won't delete it just to prove that it's actually working so now we're gonna turn it off if i anti-swear anti off so anti-swear is now off and then if you can check the database um the data will be gone and then when i type roblox and i type cat nothing will happen because it already stopped right here so yeah if you have any errors or any um, help, anything you need help with, feel free to join the support server. Links will be in the description. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, feel free to leave a subscription. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again on the next video. Bye.